everyone. So today's workout came highly requested. It's been highly requested for about a year now. Um, a while back, you might remember, I teamed up with a local spin studio here in Boston to do an arm song workout. And I have another one for you today. So what is an arm song workout? If you've taken an indoor cycling class, you'll be familiar with this, or even if you've taken a bar class, it's similar to the arm section you might do there. You're going to need a set of light hand weights, and I'm talking one to five pounds max. I'm using a set of two pound weights. Um, you really don't need to go heavier than five pounds. The whole idea is that it's lightweight, high repetition, and for fun, we're doing it to the beat of a song. Now, I'm actually not gonna show you a preview of the exercises today because this is a quick workout. The song is just over five minutes long, and I'm gonna be doing it with you, guiding you through the whole thing. And the movements are so small, and the changes are so small, you don't need a preview. Honestly, the preview would be just as long as the actual song, so let's just get to it. We are going to do this workout standing, or if you're working with any injuries or mobility issues, you could also do it seated down in a chair. Um, I would make sure that the chair has a low back or maybe just sit on a stool or bench with no back though because we will be doing movements like this so just make sure you don't have uh, any armrests or high backs getting in the way. As with all workouts you want to make sure that you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body modifying or stopping as needed. A great way to modify this one is just to use lighter weights or you can even do it without the weights. If you just do body weight and make tight fists with your hands you will still feel the burn I promise. Because this workout is super quick, again, the song is only just over five minutes long. This makes for a great finisher to a longer workout, or you could even do it back to back with the other arm song that I have on my channel, which I will link to below. Okay, and with that, enough rambling, let's get to the song. Okay, so before we get going, I want you to roll your shoulders back, knit your ribs together so that your core is active. We have nice upright posture here. Your feet are going to be standing about hips width apart with a soft bend to your knees, and we're gonna try to maintain this posture the whole time. The main focus of this upper body workout is gonna be shoulders, so that is the main place you are going to feel this burn. So to start, I want you to reach the weights out in front of you at chest height, your palms face down. There's a little softness to the elbows, so don't totally lock them out, and make sure that when you extended those arms forward, you didn't hunch those shoulders. Remember that posture we went over. Roll the shoulder blades back, chest is broad. And I want you right here to just start hitting those weights together. When the beat comes in, you're gonna match those hits to the beat. Hit, hit, hit. And really hit them hard, you should be able to hear them. Hit, hit, hit. On my count, it's two over, two under. In three, two, one. Over, over, under, under. Now I really want you to squeeze the weights hard, okay, so that you feel those muscles in your arms fire up. Next change, all we're gonna do is take this to a single count. In four, three, two, one, so it's over, under, over, under. Squeeze those weights hard. Coming up next, you're gonna keep the palms facing down. It's gonna be an alternating lift, right, and then left. In four, three, two, one, little lift, lift. It's just a couple inches. Lift, the other one stays at chest height. Final change in this straight arm opener is we're just gonna do the same move, but both together. Three, two, one, let's go. Little lift, lift, squeeze those weights. Arms extended out, abs in tight. Now coming up next, we're gonna take this into a bent arm series, 90 degree bend in front of you, shoulder width apart. Four, three, two, we're gonna pulse it out. Pulse, 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 squeeze those weights. So elbows are bent at 90 degrees, and we're not dropping the elbows all the way down here. Keep them lifted. We're gonna take this into a shoulder press. We're gonna alternate arms. Start on your right in four, three, two, one. Press, 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 press. Really reach them up. Make these powerful. Push and pull. Coming up next, we're gonna go both together. In four, three, two, one. Press, press. Woo, hope you feel that burn starting to build up. Make these explosive. Push, pull, push, pull. Coming up next, you have shoulder shapers. Alternate, start on the right. Open, open. One at a time, elbows at 90 degree bend. Peel apart, really pull, pull. Coming up next, same thing, just both together. Four, three, two, one, open, open. You got this. We got the two really tough variations coming up next. These are my least favorite in a good way. 
weights together in front of your face. Four, three, two, one. Now push the elbows together. Squeeze, squeeze. If you can, I want the elbows to actually touch. Touch, tap, tap. Keep the elbows lifted around armpit height. We're gonna hold them together. We're gonna reach the hands up and down. Reach, reach. Woo, this one burns. You want the elbows as close together as you can. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Now coming up next, we're gonna repeat this bent arm sequence. We're gonna start with that alternating shoulder press. Three, two, one. Right, left, Woo. right, left. My arms are on fire. Hopefully yours are too. Again, shoulders and biceps kinda. That's where you wanna feel this. We're gonna go both arms together. Four, three, two, one. Press, press. Close your eyes if you need to. Now we've seen this pattern before. So you know what's coming up next. Shoulder shapers, alternate, start on the right. Four, three, two, one. Open, 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 open. You got it guys, we're getting there. On my count, both arms together, same movement. Four, three, two, one. Open, open. We got those two really tough ones coming up. Not that these aren't tough. <laughs> Squeeze the weights together, tap those elbows. Four, three, two, one, go. Go, last time you're gonna see these, you can do it. Stay with me, little tap, little tap. Weights are together, if this is too much, just separate your arms a little bit, okay? But I still want the elbows in, in. You're gonna hold them in, we're gonna lift the arms. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift, lift. After these, we're going to straight arms to finish. You can do it. Arms are straight, we hit those weights just like we started with. In four, three, two, one, straighten them out. Hit, hit, hit. Squeeze the weights and I wanna hear those weights. Well, I can't hear them over the camera, but you should hear them. Two over, two under. In three, two, one. Over, over, under, under. Right to the end, we're getting there. This is the home stretch. Don't drop those arms, you're too close. We single it out in three, two, one. Over, under, over, under. Keep them extended, lift one at a time. Four, three, two, one. Lift, 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 lift. Right to the end, give me four, three, two, one. Done, shake it out. Woo, my arms are on fire. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here every Monday-ish. Some weeks I'm off, but for the most part, every Monday. I'll see you guys next week.